I wasn't planning on making a video about this, but I have been seeing this new foundation all over my Instagram feed and here on YouTube. So I thought I would make a video for you guys. This is the brand new foundation and foundation brush from Hourglass. So I'm going to put it to the test. I have three shades, the three lightest shades. So if you are light or have acne prone skin, um, this review is for you. I did go ahead and put on the Hourglass Primer. This primer has been out for a minute. It's their airbrush primer. So I put this on. I'm assuming you are meant to use it with it. And then I have shades here, one, one and a half, and two. And I have to say, these look a little different from how they did on the website. So I'll show you guys number one, and I already know it is going to be way too light for me. So this is what number one looks like. Um, this says it is supposed to be a medium buildable coverage, um, natural glow finish. There's 32 shades and it's supposed to give you 16 hour wear. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch a few of these on the back of my hand, a few, the three I have on the back of my hand to show you guys the color. So this is number one here. Um, eh, focus. You can probably see very light and it's like literally half a drop of foundation so um honestly like i'm very pale but i think it's a little too pale for me so that is number one then we have shade 1.5 by the way i don't even think i said the actual name this is the ambient soft glow foundation here's what shade 1.5 looks like it's very hard to tell in the bottle because these bottles are all frosted so a little hard to tell when it's in the bottle. I'm gonna try to pump a tiny bit out, even less than last time. Let's see, there we go. Okay, so we have shade 1.5 right here. It looks just like a little bit peachier than shade one. Probably still a little light for me. Let's go right here. So we have one, 1.5. 1.5, a little closer, but honestly like, I'm usually the lightest to light shades and let's hope number two works because I don't know about any of these. I might have to give these on to somebody else. Here is shade number two. Looks kind of the same in the bottle, maybe a little bit darker. Also, sorry for the lighting. I am in front of my window in natural lighting right now and it is about to storm here in New York City. Apparently there's supposed to be a huge storm so you might hear some thunder or something. Um, I was like, I need to film this before it gets pitch black outside from the storm. Here is number two, definitely probably shade number two. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put that on right here. Yeah, so this is looking closest to me. Um, one, 1.52. And then on the back of my head for reference, one, 1.52. Two is definitely a little golden. One is like if you're real, real pale, 1.5, maybe if you have a little bit of a rosy undertone. And these I could tell already from the back of my hand are really thick, pretty full coverage. It does say just to use a little bit. It says to use a pea size amount, start on your face and then blend outwards. So as you can see, I do have a lot of acne that we're currently working with. Um, I was on Accutane last year, if you had been following my journey and she's back in full force. So I'm trying to get it under control for right now, but yeah. Definitely gonna see if this covers my acne. So we also have the foundation brush. The foundation, by the way, retails for $58. The brush retails for $47. And this is the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation Brush. And it looks like it is just, has a seal on it. Here's what the brush looks like. It's supposed to mimic kind of your finger with a pretty packed tip. Um, I'm usually a sponge girl, but we'll see how this brush works. I'm gonna go ahead and start with just one full pump on the brush. Okay, so here's how much a full pump got me onto the brush. And then I'm gonna um, start on this side, I guess, since this side has these uh, marks on it, and just kind of start dotting out a little bit. That was one single pump, and this is definitely a thick, thick foundation. Um, I can already tell this is going to go a long way with just one pump. Wow, that's actually really, really nice. And I honestly think that this color match is pretty accurate for me. Um, I feel like I'm always terrible at matching my foundation shade, just like everyone else's if you're matching it online, but this was honestly fairly good for me. First impression, I am really impressed. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out 
this lighter color over here I'll probably just put it on top um, just because but yeah I'm really really impressed with this foundation right off the bat oh did you guys just see that I wonder if that came up on video the power just went on and off so we'll see how much longer I have with light in this house um, okay here's what this side looks like um, I want to show you guys like as much as possible it looks like a really really natural finish which is what it says it did cover up some of the redness but you could still see a little bit here and here so i would probably need a little more because i am trying to i literally just almost pumped this on because i'm trying to do a little bit more of a full coverage look with this acne i'm going to put on a little more of the product and again i'm just kind of like stippling it on um, and then going ahead and brushing through like this. If you've never seen me before, hi, my name is Zoe. I post here on YouTube every single Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're not already, make sure you subscribe down below. And I'm not a makeup artist, I just love makeup. So that is where I'm coming from. Um, I also post here a lot about skincare and workouts, stuff like that. So. If that interests you, um, definitely check out my other videos. Oh my god, wow. Is this gonna be my new favorite foundation? Like, excuse me. This is gorgeous. I'm getting married in March, so I have been kind of on the hunt for um, a bit of like a wedding makeup look or wedding foundation. I am like, I obviously wanna have nice skin by then, so hopefully I won't need too much makeup, but just in case, this seems like honestly a really good option. As I mentioned, I'm not a brush girl, but I feel like this brush worked so, so nicely. And it was really, really easy to blend out with the brush. So here's what it looks like on this side. Definitely medium to full coverage. I might try to go in and um, cover up some more of my spots here. It might be like one shade too light on camera, but in person it looks like, I'm trying to back up so I could see I'm like, but in person it looks really natural you can probably see here like I have a tan on my shoulders um so maybe this is more of um a winter shade for me but also I'm gonna add some bronzer a little bit of color so we can see it in its full effects but overall this foundation is really really nice I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of the foundation on my finger and then pat some into see this looks darker I don't know I'm just gonna pat a little bit into some of my problem areas and then try to blend it out from there just to kind of concentrate the product in the areas where I'm a little redder to see. Also, like there's always concealer, so usually I have to use concealer um, as well. I mean, I just started pouring. So I'm just gonna go ahead in and try to buff some of this into my more problematic areas it definitely has kind of like a tacky finish it is not um liquidy or like greasy or anything it's weird because it kind of looks tan and then as i blend it out it starts to look a little paler it hasn't um oxidized or anything so it seems like the same exact color as when i put it on and yeah here's what we're looking like definitely buildable i feel like i did get some more coverage with that second layer so i'm gonna leave it at that I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is try to put a little bit of maybe um, some liquid bronzer and blush on. I don't want to set it because I want to see how it wears without being set. So I'm going to go ahead and do that um, and be right back. Just finished with like a really, really simple, very minimalist. I put on the um, Patrick Ta liquid uh, contour bronzer and then um, the Tarte Man Eater liquid blush. And then I also just put on some... Um, brow gel and a little bit of eye uh why am I tripping over my words a little bit of mascara and that is literally it I feel like I still look really pale though in this lightning let me zoom you guys in so here's what it's kind of sitting like um on top of my skin I think it uh blended really really well I'm gonna just kind of leave this on for a little bit see how it wears again no concealer no powder I did not put on any setting any setting spray so yeah here's what we are looking like and um as i mentioned 16 hour wear i will not be wearing this for 16 hours because my skin is gonna kill me so i am doing a workout later so i was maybe gonna uh go through the workout and see i 
tried to wash off the swatches on the back of my hand and if you can kind of tell they like really gave me a hard time and tried to stay there so I am thinking this is maybe gonna be a good one for the summer for sweating so I'll let you guys know um, and check in with you in a little bit I am at the dog park in my building I apologize it is so so loud they have like the machines back here but I want to show you what it looks like in natural lighting on my iPhone this is what it's looking like I started to sweat a little bit, so we'll see. Um, they got some mustache sweat, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if it holds up. Um, but yeah, this is outside on my iPhone. I'm 15 minutes into a Melissa Wood Health workout video, and you guys, I am sweating. I will be shocked if this makeup lasts through this. It's a little after 10 p.m. I have been wearing this foundation for about seven to eight hours now, which is way longer than I thought I was going to. I've been outside in the over 90 degree heat a few times, um, taking my dog out, we grilled outside. I did a full 30 minute Melissa Wood Health video, sweated a bunch, and here's what the makeup is looking like. This foundation is holding up so incredibly well. Um, I am like beyond, beyond impressed to be honest. I did not think it was gonna hold up this well. As I mentioned, no powder, no setting spray. I am excited to try it out again with all those things to see if it works even better, but I am so impressed. This might be my new favorite foundation. Um, definitely gets a first impression stamp of approval from me. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this foundation in the comments down below, if you plan to try it or not, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.